Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name's Steph and I'm going to take you through a 15 minute matte Pilates session today. You don't need any equipment, just yourself. If you need to modify any exercises, please feel free to do so. And I hope you enjoy. We're going to start off in a four point kneel. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And we're coming into our cat cow stretch, rounding your spine to the ceiling into flexion and arching the opposite way into extension. Make sure we're breathing in nice deep breaths. Three, two, and one. So start to extend your left arm forward and your right leg backwards, aiming for length through the body rather than height. Slowly come back down and switch to the other side. Let's aim to keep a neutral spine, nice flat back for now. Belly button drawn in, reaching those limbs nice and long. We want our neck neutral, eyes are down. And very soon, we're gonna stay on that left arm and right leg out. Beautiful, next time let's keep our left arm out, right leg out, and as your elbow and knee come in, try and touch them to each other, rounding your spine to the ceiling. We're here for five reps. And then we hold out in three, two, and one. Hold that leg out and pulse it up, 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 nice and strong through the opposite side. The last three, two, and one. Let's repeat all that on the other side. So now we reach our right arm forward, left leg backwards, aiming for length. And then we bring our elbow to our knee, rounding our spine. Five reps here. Beautiful work guys, nice and strong through that left shoulder. We're about to hold out for our pulses in three, two, and one. Holding out and let's pulse that leg up, up, and up. Into our last five. Four, three, two, and one. Relaxing there. The next exercise we're coming into is a plank on our knees. From here, lower your chest down to the floor as if you're gonna do a push up. Then lift your chest up to the ceiling, extending through your back. Sink back into your child's pose again. And then we repeat. Come forward into your kneeling plank. Lower your chest to the floor, lift your chest up into back extension, and then sit back into your child's pose. This is your easier progression. If you'd like to stay here, you're more than welcome to. When you're ready, let's come up onto those toes. Last three, two, and one. Relaxing there. Now we're gonna lie onto our right side, coming into those glutes. Let's lift those feet up off the floor, glue the heels together, and we start to open the top knee. So the left knee is moving up to the sky and closing down. We're in our clams. Let's aim to try and keep those hips nice and still. We don't wanna roll our hips backwards at all. Pause that top knee up for a second as you open the knee and slowly close back down. We're gonna be doing bent leg circles in three, two, and one. Let's do those little bent leg circles now. We're into our last few. Three, two, and one. Reverse, other direction. Nice and controlled, let's feel that glute burning. We're into our last three, two, and one. Now we're coming up into a side plank on our right forearm. Have your right knee down on the floor supporting you. From here, let's start to weave that top arm underneath your waist, turn your chest to the floor, and then turn your arm up to the ceiling again. If you're ready to progress, you can step both feet out nice and straight 
and do this with both legs out rather than your bottom knee down. As always, make sure we're breathing, nice and controlled movements. Last three, two, and one. Now we're gonna be sitting on our right hip and our right hand is on the floor. We're coming into a single arm push up. Start to bend your right elbow backwards behind you and then pressing up through that right arm, trying to work through the back of the arm into the tricep. My knees are just slightly separated, sitting comfortably, and that top left hand can be on your hip. Breathing out as we press up, feeling that arm working. It's important not to shrug your shoulder up to your ear. Last three, two, and one. Lift those hips up and come up into your full side plank on your right hand. Then you can bend your legs, lower your hips back down, and then repeat. Press out, straighten the legs into your side plank. Bend your legs, lower your hips down to the floor. Last three, two, and one. Turning to the floor in our high plank on our hands. Then from here, we do our slow mountain climbers. Knee to opposite elbow, and then repeat on the other side. Knee to opposite elbow, keeping those hips nice and steady, those shoulders strong, and belly into spine. Last three, two, and one. Now we're gonna come over to the other side. Let's even out through those legs. We're lying on our left side now. We're gonna glue those heels together, lift the feet up off the floor, and start to open the right knee up to the ceiling and back down again into those clams. Open the right knee and slowly close. Remembering that we want to keep our hips stacked. We don't want to be rolling the hips backwards at all. Remember that sometimes you have one side that maybe feels it a little bit more than the other. Last three, two, and one, coming into your bent leg circles. Nice small circles, keep that leg bent to a 90 degree angle as you circle it. Last five seconds, and we reverse. Other direction, little bent leg circles, nice and controlled. You can do this, we've got five, four, three, two, and one, relaxing that top leg down. Now we're coming up into our side plank on our left forearm. You've got your bottom left knee down on the floor, starting to weave your top right arm underneath your waist, looking to the floor, and then back reaching to the sky. And if you'd like to progress, come up onto both feet with straight legs. And we do the same movement, right arm weaving underneath your waist, and then up to the ceiling. Last few here, and we're coming into our single arm push-up. Dropping that hip down, so now we're sitting on our left hip, starting to bend your left elbow backwards behind you and pressing up through that left arm. So the back of the arm is starting to work. Your right hand can just be resting on your hip and make sure we're breathing, breathing out to press up. We're almost there for this one. You've got your full side plank coming up on your hand. Three, two, and one. Coming up into your high plank on your left arm, straighten your legs out into your high side plank, and then bend your knees, lower your hips down to the floor. Turning into your high plank. From here, we're gonna lift the hips up into your pike position and reach one hand towards the opposite leg. Scoop that belly in up into your spine, working through our shoulders and our core. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Relaxing here, guys. We're lying onto our tummy now. Have your fingertips either side of your temples. You're gonna to start to lift your chest up and your arms up off the floor, working through your lower back. So we lift the chest and slowly lower, working through our lower back muscles. Let's add in some arm movements now. 
Lift your chest, reach your arms back, pulling your fingertips towards your feet, and then lower your chest down again. Lift, reach the arms back, hands back to temples, and lower. Three, two, and one. Hold your chest up and pulse your arms up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Squeeze those shoulder blades down away from your ears. Three, two, and one. Relax everything down and let's come into your child's pose. Just relaxing that spine into some flexion, letting go of that tension through the lower back. We're coming into some core work now, everybody. So let's sit up onto our bottom. So we roll halfway back. Then we're going to bend our left elbow, turn our body to the left, and then bend our right elbow, turn our body to the right. Roll back up down the center and we repeat. Round your spine, roll back halfway. Left elbow bends, turn to the left. Right elbow bends, turn to the right. Facing forward, roll back up, restack your spine and sitting up straight. And we keep repeating this motion, working from side to side, starting to feel your abs switching on. And let's just twist side to side, bending that elbow one side to the other. And then we're going to lift our legs up into tabletop to finish. Ready, set, and let's go. Lift those legs to tabletop and we hold in our boat pose for five, four, three, two, and one. Relaxing down. Now we're going to roll in a ball. Grab behind your knees and let's roll backwards, slowly coming back up and try and rest your feet back on the floor as you roll back up. Let's get a little bit of momentum. If you're progressing, try and hover your feet up off the floor as you roll up onto your sit bones. If anyone's progressing, you're going to grab onto your ankles, turn your knees out so your arms are on the inside of your knees. Last three, two, and one. Let's pop our hands behind us now with our fingertips pointing to our bottom. Our feet are flat on the floor and all we're going to do is lift our hips up towards the sky and then sit our hips back down to the floor. Try and really lift your heart up to the sky, opening through your chest and shoulders. If your hand position isn't particularly comfortable, feel free to change it here. Make sure you're squeezing your bottom every time you lift those hips up. sitting with your legs out straight in front of you this time. Your legs are slightly separated about the width of the mat, reaching your arms out nice and wide, twisting from one side to the other, reaching across towards each leg, trying to stretch out the back of the legs and trying to improve our spine movement here as we move. If you can't reach your ankle or your foot, maybe aim for your knee today. You've got your last five seconds here and we'll come into our final stretch. Last three, two, and one. Bring your hands behind you, bend your knees up, and just resting your feet on the floor, gently sway your knees from side to side, loosening off through your lower back. Please feel free to comment below what you enjoyed about the session, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more Pilates workouts. Thank you so much for joining in today. I hope you enjoyed the session and I'll see you soon.